This is how to create the SpaceX Starship inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we need to do when creating our Starship is to enable the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Then zoom into the grid a little bit. And to create the base of the Starship, we need a rectangle. So pick the rectangle tool, go to one of these crosshairs right here and draw a rectangle that is one square wide and a little bit more than four squares tall. If you want my exact dimensions, you can simply pause the video and count these small squares right here. Then we can select the fill and remove the fill, leaving only the stroke behind. Then click Ctrl Shift A to deselect the rectangle, select the pen tool and draw a triangle like this. After finishing the triangle, hold down the Alt key and drag this anchor point up like this and drag the other corner in the opposite direction. Then to make the tip a little less pointy, drag this anchor point one step to the right. Then pick the selection tool, select both shapes, go to the Pathfinder panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. With the Pathfinder panel open, go to this button right here that says Unite. This will merge the two shapes into one single shape. Then pick the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse right here and over to the other side. This will round off the bottom of the base. So pick the selection tool, select both shapes and once again click the unite button. And here we have the base shape of the rocket. So now we need to create the fins. And to do this, select the rectangle tool, go to this corner right here and draw a fin like this. Do the same thing in the other side. Then to create the slope of the fins, select the direct selection tool, select this anchor point right here, hold down the shift key and select this anchor point right here as well. Drag the anchor points down like this. After that we want to create the upper fins and for this we want to use the rectangle tool again and this time we want to draw a rectangle from this exact point and up like this and all the way to the other side. Then click Ctrl Shift A to deselect this rectangle, pick the pen tool and draw a triangle from this point right here and make the triangle like this. Pick the selection tool again and select these shapes. And you probably guessed it, we need to unite these shapes as well. So here we have the basic shape of the starship. But to make it stand out, we need a lot more details. And the first but a subtle detail we want to create is to round off all these sharp corners right here just a tiny bit. So select all the fins, go to Effect, go to Stylize and click Round Corners. From here we can click the Preview button and round off the corners just a little bit. This will make the rocket look more refined. Now select all parts of the Starship, select the stroke and select a dark grey color for the stroke. And if you want my exact color scheme, you can get the hex codes right here. So feel free to pause the video to create the swatches. After selecting the dark grey for the stroke, go to the stroke menu right here and make the stroke a lot wider. Then go to this stroke panel right here and select align stroke to the outside. Then select the fill of the rocket and select a medium light grey for the rocket. Then select the base of the rocket, right click the base, go to arrange and click bring to front. So now we want to create the fire from the raptor engines. So go down a little bit, select the ellipse tool, go to this crosshair right here and draw an ellipse that is one square wide and three squares tall. Pick the direct selection tool and select these anchor points right here and move them up like this. Then go to these handles right here and move these into the anchor point. Pick the selection tool again and while having the flame selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. So now we have two shapes on top of each other. So with the top one selected, go to this corner right here to scale it, hold down the shift key and the alt key and scale it down like this. Then move it up a little bit. Now select both shapes, go to the stroke and disable the stroke. Then select the big flame, select the fill and make this flame orange. 
select the small flame and make this one yellow. Now we can select the entire fire and move the fire up to the rocket. Right click the fire, go to arrange and send to back and you can move it up and down as you want. Now move up once again to see the rocket. So to make the rocket even more detailed, we want to create a highlight for the rocket and also some shadows for the fins. To do this, I will disable the snap to grid feature. So go to view and turn off the snap to grid feature. Then select the base of the rocket, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front and edit one more time and paste in front one more time. So now we have three bases on top of each other. And while having the top shape selected, we need to move the shape a little bit to the left. So I will hold down the shift key and notch it one time to the left, then release the shift key and notch it three more times with the arrow keys. One, two, three. This will create a nice shadow. So while having this top shape selected, hold down the shift key and select the shape just underneath. Now with both these shapes selected, go to the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to get this minus sign next to the cursor and subtract these shapes right here. Then go to the selection tool and while still having this shape selected, select the stroke and disable the stroke. Then hold down the shift key and while still having this shape selected, select the fins right here as well. And also this fin right here. Then go to the shape builder tool once again, hold down the alt key to subtract and subtract these shapes right here. This one, this one and this one. Now pick the selection tool, click Ctrl Shift A to deselect everything, then select these two shapes we just made and give these two shapes a darker gray color. And to get the base of the starship to the front again, select the base, right click the base, go to arrange and click bring to front. So here we have our shadows. Now we need to create the highlight. So now once again select the base, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front and edit again and paste in front again. And once again we hold down the shift key and move this shape one time to the left, release the shift key and move it three more times to the left. One, two, three. Then hold down the shift key and while having this base shape selected, select the shape just underneath it. Select the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to subtract and subtract these shapes right here. Then pick the selection tool and while having this shape selected, go to the stroke and disable the stroke. Then select the fill and select a light gray color for this highlight. So here we have our rocket. But to make the starship look even more amazing, we want to add some smoke and a starry night sky. So select the entire rocket, right click the rocket and click group. Then select the layers panel and if it isn't open you can go to window and find the layers panel right here. Now zoom out to see the entire canvas. And we don't need this grid anymore, so go to view and go to hide grid. Then to align the starship to the middle of the canvas, go to this button right here that says horizontal align center. So now go down to this button right here and lock the layer with the starship. Then click this button right here to create a new layer, drag the new layer down beneath the rocket and just to make it easier to navigate, we want to rename this layer starship and this layer night sky. Now select the rectangle tool and fill out the canvas with a rectangle. Then make the color a gradient. Select the gradient tool and make the gradient go from the top of the starship and all the way down to the bottom of the flame. You can hold down the shift key to make sure it's straight. Then grab a dark blue color and drag it down to the top of the gradient. Then grab a light blue color and drag it to the bottom of the gradient. This will give you a nice transition. Now we can lock this layer as well and create a new layer. This layer needs to be in between these two first layers and we can call this layer stars. Now grab the star tool and create a very tiny star and make that star solid white. So now we have one tiny star like this. So select this star 
go to the brushes panel and once again if it isn't open you can go to window and find the brushes panel right here. Now with this star selected go to this button right here that says new brush then select a scatter brush and click OK. From here we can make a brush to create our stars easily. So start by selecting random for all these drop downs right here. Then drag all these sliders all the way to the bottom. And for the sliders on the right side, drag these three all the way to the right. This will give the biggest variation between the spacing, the scatter and the rotation. But for the size we need to do something different. So when choosing 10% as the minimum, it means that the smallest stars this brush can create is 10% of the size of the original star right here. And because we don't want any huge stars, we don't want to drag this slider all the way to the right as well. So I think we'll make this the largest size of our stars. We can always adjust the brush later if we want to. So for now click OK. Delete this star we just made. Zoom out a little bit. Select the brush. And while still having this layer selected, select the star brush. Deselect the stroke. And now we can start drawing some stars. After drawing all the stars, go to the selection tool, select all the stars, go to opacity and select 50%. This will make the stars be a little bit more in the background. Then go to the star layer and lock it. And to create the smoke we need another layer. So click create new layer. And this layer needs to be on top of the night sky and the stars layer. And we can call this layer smoke. So to create the smoke we want to zoom in to the fire. Then select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this and make it a fill instead of a stroke. And to make sure this rectangle is in the exact middle while having the rectangle selected, click this button right here that says horizontal align center. And because I aligned the rectangle with the fire, it was already in the middle. Now go to the direct selection tool, select this anchor point right here, hold down the shift key and notch it three times to the left. One, two, three. Select this anchor point right here and notch this one three times to the right. One, two, three. Now select the fill, then go to the selection tool and while having the shape selected, select this light blue color right here. Then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now go to this corner right here and scale this shape down just a little bit. Select a white color for this shape. Now we can zoom out again. So to create the big clouds of smoke, we want to select the ellipse tool. Now create a circle like this. Pick the selection tool and place the circle down like this. Now simply hold down the ALT key to duplicate and duplicate this circle to the right. Then duplicate it one more time, scale it up a little bit while holding down the shift key and place this one right here. Now just cover up any holes right here with duplications of these circles. Then select all circles, select the reflect tool, hold down the alt key to get these dots next to the cursor and click on the tip of the starship. Make sure vertical is selected and click copy. Pick the selection tool again and while having these circles selected, hold down the shift key and select these circles as well. Select the fill and select the light blue colors for these circles as well. Then while still having all these circles selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now with the arrow keys, move these circles down just a little bit. Select the fill and make these circles white. Now select all the circles and deselect the smoke right here. And while having the light blue circles and the white circles selected, right click the circles, go to arrange and click send to back. Then click this light blue shape right here, right click, go to arrange and click send to back. And to get a little bit more blue right here, I will select the white shape and move this one down a little bit. 
And here we have the SpaceX Starship. Thank you for watching.